Hello. Hey. Let's see what's going on over here on stage. What up, Ben? How you doing? What a beautiful place, man. Wow. Yeah, Daddy. Morning. Getting some camera time? big rock show going on in here. I mean, uh, freaking. My name is Eric Hillman and I'm a guitar tech for the rock band 311. I run a bass rig for Peanut, the bass player 311. I also run uh, Nick Hexum's Guitar World, lead singer. I run his sounds over here from uh, side stage so he can be free up there to uh, move around and not have to worry about stepping on all this or messing up his elbow or anything, you know? Oh yeah, man, let me see what you got. Guitarist, right this way, perfect. For me, wake up in the morning on a tour bus most of the time. Sometimes we'll fly into shows that'll be, you know, different. Wake up in a hotel or something, but I get out here to the stage and uh, catch cases. When my stuff comes up, I uh, take it out, take the lids off, and uh, set it all up for the day. It's my pedal board, man. Well, it's Nick's pedal board. And uh, a little dusty, we didn't know you were coming over. Bunch of different sounds in here, and I'll switch them for him during the show. You know, it's the difference between a and a bunch of other different ones. I also run social media for the band and, and run uh, things on their Instagram pages. I have a whole tour page that we do here for the tour that I, I run exclusively usually and uh, constantly pulling content for that. Yeah, I'm gonna use that sound. I'm gonna program that one right there. A4, yeah, you bet it's gonna be A4 tonight for Philly. You ready for this, Philly? Man, I'm lucky. I sleep great on the buses. It's, you know, small quarters. They have these uh, bunks in the buses, which are pretty nice. We got a little TV, DVD in there, whatever you want. DVD, like, like like who's watching DVDs, right? You bring a little case of DVDs. 15 years later, we're best buds, bus bros even, and I, it's a blast. And then I've worked for Dirty Heads before. Pepper is, is usually my go-to. Sublime with Rome, Tell You Stupid, and a lot of bands in this circuit, because you know, yeah. we'll meet on tour. Their guy can't make it or something, they'll call me, you know, hey dude, what's up? I'm a guitarist, and I was a guitarist, performing guitarist, you know, uh, when I met these guys. I had had this guitar tech for a few years, and right before the tour, he decides, oh, I don't really want to tour anymore. I want to stay home with my girl. So I was completely in a panic. And our studio manager, Jason, was like, you should call Cousin Eric. He quickly emerged as one of the greatest, probably the best roadie we've had. But I never knew this job existed until I had it. And then the first show of their 2007 run was when I joined. If you'd have told me that then, I would have I would have laughed and been like, all right, dude. So we just stringing up this puppy, you know, put new strings on every day for the freshy fresh, slappy slap. It makes a big difference to have the, the slappiness of it. it yes, yeah, Nick's, Nick's main guitar here. A lot of these gigs pay very well. My first tour, I maybe came in at a beginner's rate and then was promptly given a raise after my first year of completion. I, you know, make it up to five grand a week is not super unreal or unrealistic at all. Oh, it's one gig, I, I would say, that you can kind of almost live wherever you want because as long as there's an airport somewhat nearby, you can fly to your next gig or at least to your next tour. I think we're pretty much ready to go get these dudes to do a sound check now and it is right on time, 2.01. Everything that could go wrong in a day, you'd have to be here with me for a week. Something as simple as them losing a wheel on the way to the truck, a tube could blow in an amplifier, a, a wireless frequency for a microphone could get interrupted or, or just completely drop, or if you're in a big city or around military bases, their, their wireless frequencies are totally jammed up. Microphones, drums, so many things running wirelessly that uh, people don't realize that the simple interruption of a signal could could be, be a dropout in the show and people go, hey, that drum's not working. Well, it's working. It's just you don't hear it because the microphone's not working. So it's all about just diagnosing it quickly and fixing it so you get back to the show. This is my work box. Everything from rechargeable batteries and Q-tips and stamps in case I want to send a postcard home. And guitar strap locks and uh, guitar wire fuses and rack screws and guitar picks and, and earbuds and lighters and all kinds of things. That's it. The hardest part easily has nothing to do with stage or any of these people that you see here in the room, it's being away from people you love, uh, being away from your family. It never gets easier, actually, it's harder. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, babe. What are you doing? Where are you at? 
I'm at work. And then I send postcards home all the time. Kind of old school, but people at home appreciate the, the mailbox love. Oh, bye bye, buddy. One of the most important parts of my gear. My bass player is so easy. I don't know how he doesn't have to be doing too much during the show. But fresh beer is a must. doing I'm pretty much on the same ear mixes the singer listening to the same parts of the song listening to the cues to vocals different parts okay here comes the guitar solo button button I'm always looking at a set list looking at a chart looking at notes or if it's an older song that I happen to love I'm not doing any of that I'm bobbing my head going oh here it comes my part here comes my part it's right now There's the unspoken thing, which is having a good attitude and being a pleasant person to be around. If somebody starts to get an attitude, we might call them like a white glove roadie, like, oh, I'm not gonna do that. Cousin Eric is the opposite. I, mean, I just love being around music and being around rock and roll vibe. Now I got a gig where I, that's what I do, you know what I mean? So it's, it's harder to get tired of than rather like, you know, I used to work in a movie theater sweeping popcorn. It's easy to get tired of that. Hard to get tired of going, all right, hey, that sounds freaking great. That's exactly how I'd want it to sound, too. It's definitely a dream job. It's a job I didn't know was a real thing, uh, but after living it and experiencing it, yeah, it's definitely a dream job. On to the next one. Hey guys. Time to pack it all up and do it all over again tomorrow.